Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce the switch setting function of Redlink T16D and T2RD transmitter and take T2RD as an example. Press the move button to enter my menu. Transmit settings. Switch settings. You can see there are some switches here. And for T16D transmitter, there will be more switches listed here. The function can set two position switches as three position switches or the three position switches as two position switches. And if the physical switch is replaced, then this function can be used to set the corresponding switch type. And there are two POS and three POS. Two POS means two position switch, and three POS means three position switch. And for example, switch D is a two position switch. And when I set switch D to three position switch, it will become a three position switch and I'll show it. For example, I'll, I end general settings, auxiliary channel, and I assign switch D to control any one of the channel, such as channel five, and enter monitor. I can use switch D to control channel 5. It is a two position switch and the server value will be minus 100 or 100. But if I keep holding switch D in the middle position, you can see the server value is zero, which means switch D is a three position switch now. I show it again, hold it, and the server value changes to zero. And you can also replace switch D with a three position switch. Then you can change it to a three position switch completely. And for three position switches such as switch A, B, C, if you set it to two position switch, it will work as a two position switch. And let's enter the next setting page. Switch self check. It is to check the switch position. You can turn it on or off, and I turn it on. If you need to push switches in a specific position when the transmitter is turned on, you can turn on switch self-check. For example, if I need to push switch A down when I power on the transmitter and I set switch A to down, and the self-check is turned on, but we can say that switch A is in the up position. So let's power off the transmitter. And let's power on the transmitter and see what happens. You can see that when we power on the transmitter, there is a warning. Switch A is not in the set position. Press it down. So we need to push switch A down to make it in the proper position. Then the warning disappears. If you don't need the switch self-check function, you can turn it off in the setting menu. Turn it off. So that's all about the switch setting function of T16D and T12D transmitter.